Dear clients, welcome to Philip Capital's Weekly Market Watch. My name is Kenneth, Equities and Market Analyst from Philip Research. Today we give a macro update on US markets, reiterate our top SG picks, and expand on our market technical analysis for 2014, which was initiated last December 2013 and preempted the US sell-off during the last two weeks. Macro conditions took a blow as China and then the US threw off weak data. We are more concerned with China as a greater number of indicators are weak in unison, including manufacturing and service PMIs, industrial profit and investment data. China remains a macro risk, given unquantifiable risk from the shadow banking industry. The US, on the other hand, had a shock decrease in incomes. However, most other indicators still suggest continued expansion. All in all, taken with our market and technical analysis, we still think the larger trend for stocks is on despite short-term weakness. For our stock strategies during this uncertainty, we forget themes and go with the best of breed companies that have their own catalysts and investment merits distinct from the macro. 1. Balsit Singapore, present price 166, target price 205. Uh, this company has record order books in energy and industrial design and build. It's undervalued as industrial portfolios is potentially 50% of its market cap realized in two years. Uh, it has the Iskandar JV in Nusajaya and is presently at 10.6 times PE. Uh, number two, Iconics Brands. Uh, present price US dollars 37.25. Target price is 43.19. Uh, this company has a superb business model of pure brand management and licensing. Uh, it has negligible capex, no working capital, and is 60% EBIT. Okay, it has 31 brands. Its revenue distribution is 70% USA and 30% overseas, and it's got the potential for overseas expansion. Uh, at present, it's at 17.2 times PE. Number three, M1, current price 333, target price 368. Uh, catalysts include data monetization on tiered plans and doubling of excess usage charges. It's growing fiber broadband from a low base. It's currently trading at 19.2 times PE. Number four, Silver Lake Axis, uh, presently trading at 86.5 cents, target price $1.02. Okay, it has more than 40% of the largest ASEAN banks running their core banking systems. It has recurrent income with each new contract, and we expect new contract wins. Uh, it has 20% earnings growth and 49% net margins, currently trading at 23.6 times PE. Five, first resources, uh, present price $2, target price $2.35. This, this is a young plantation uh, to drive uh, strong production growth. It is the best in class in terms of operational efficiency, and target price uses a flat CPO price projection. Uh, we expect 11.5% earnings growth, and this is cheap for the quality at 11.4 times PE. Finally, I would also like to refer you to this week's Monday webinar, where I will be giving an extended technical analysis session, expanding on the technical thesis for the year and explaining in greater detail how I use the many angles of sector rotation, historical cycles, sentiment and market valuations together to form a technical thesis for the year and what additional indicators you can use to preempt corrections aside from the ubiquitous RSIs or MACDs or trend trading. Here's a sample of technical analysis topics being covered in this week's Monday webinar and I believe it will be worthwhile for your viewing as there has been a lot of good reviews internally. For more information, may I refer you to our Monday webinar and morning note to view our presentation and report that we updated today. Thank you.